Okay, so just to clarify, this isn't going to be a review for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This is just my initial thoughts on what I've played in the campaign and the multiplayer of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So yeah, before I get into what I think of the game, I haven't beaten the campaign for this game yet. I'm still in the middle of it, but I spent quite a few hours last night, you know, playing through the multiplayer and I only uh, started single player uh, late last night, I'm about an hour, an hour or so into the campaign. And I have some thoughts on the game so far. But just to backtrack a minute and just to talk about this new era of COD that we are in, uh, like the era of Vanguard, the new era of um, Black Ops. Um, this new era of COD, I think, is... Like, I, I feel like the game developers are more focused on creating a great multiplayer experience for gamers and not really putting a lot of the attention on the single-player uh, campaign for gamers. Um, and I think, you know, Vanguard is a great example of that because about 90% of that game is cutscenes and there's only about maybe 10% of it that are shootouts and action sequences. And while, I mean, I don't, while I really liked what they did with the cutscenes in Vanguard, it's just, it, it felt like it was half of a game rather than a full game because it felt like you were more watching a Call of Duty movie rather than actually kind of, you know, living in in Vanguard and experiencing that world and experiencing that, like, that uh, that first person, uh, that first person shooter, like, uh, experience that we all want from a great Call of Duty game. But then, on the other hand, my all-time favourite Call of Duty game in this new era of COD is Cold War. Like, I think that game just has an amazing story it has amazing zombies, it has a great multiplayer aspect to it, and I've played for that game like more times than I can count. Like that's probably my all time favourite Call of Duty game. And to and so for you guys to kinda of, I just want to kinda of give you an idea of where I'm at as a Call of Duty gamer. Um and now we have a new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Which I'm a big fan of the remake. I love what they did with that. Like that game is the most realistic I think COD will ever look. And so I was really excited for Modern Warfare 2 to kind of hopefully bring back bring back like that that scenery, that realism to the gameplay and to the cutscenes and just it made it feel so much like raw and it made it feel like an actual experience for the gamer, like you, like you were living like that day, like it looks exactly like reality, it doesn't feel like a game, like that's, like that's how great the, like the cutscenes and the gameplay in that game flow. While I encountered a few bugs in the game, and I did do a video on that, if you want to go check that out, um, that's about two or three videos back on my channel, so yeah, go check out that video. So I did encounter a few bugs, um, but like, Overall, I really enjoyed the campaign for Modern Warfare 2. And so I was excited to play Modern Warfare 2. Um, and can we just take a scene just to admire this steel book? Like, just, yeah, look how gorgeous this is. Yeah, there's ghosts on the, on the front cover there. Yeah, look at that. And there's the side. Yeah, this is a gorgeous looking steel book. I love it. Um, so yeah, now to jump forward to Modern Warfare 2, this game, this game certainly has a lot of fun in it. I really enjoy the third person perspective that they brought back into this game. I think it's a great, it's a great comeback for the Call of Duty franchise and I've spent a few hours playing third person. It's a lot of fun to play. So I really like how they brought that how they brought back a classic mode in COD back in, in, into this new uh, Generation Z, um, you know, you know, like of gaming that we are in at the moment. And as far as the campaign goes, the cutscenes don't look as realistic as the first Modern Warfare. But then saying that, the cutscenes still look amazing. Like the camera work 
is amazing. The scenery of some of the cities that you encounter is incredible. And it's like there's a great level of attention to detail in all of the cutscenes. Um, there are a few glitches that I have come across in the game. When I tried to join a multiplayer map, um, it would just, it would spend a few seconds loading and then it would just freeze frame and it would just stay on the multiplayer menu for a, a solid maybe 30 to 40 seconds and then my game would crash and then I would have to restart it again and then it would happen to me a second time and that would happen to me like on and off and then finally after about two attempts I finally got into a multiplayer game and so I'm not sure if that's a bug that other gamers are experiencing with this but that's something from like from my own experience from just playing multiplayer that's something I have encountered is um, is it's very hard to to join a multiplayer map I mean maybe because like that this game is more made for a ps5 system I don't know but maybe that could be why it was crashing because uh, I know if you do buy the physical copy I know that there is twice as much to download or there's a bigger the, like it requires a bigger amount of uh, storage to download this game um, but yeah that was kind of multiplayer yeah, for me but I did have fun in multiplayer once I did join into multiplayer um, there's also this other issue where where you're where you join into a multiplayer game and then one second while you're still on the guns menu you get shot and then you can't join that round you're, you're just spectating the other players and i think that is a totally unfair approach on the other like on the other gamers i feel like every gamer should have their time to choose the gun that they want to use for that match and so that happened to me once where i would spawn uh, onto the gun loading screen and i would be dead as soon as I spawned into the match. Like one second into it, I would be dead and I would be back, I would be back to step one. And so I did find that annoying playing multiplayer. Um, so like, yeah, that's why I just don't play like a whole lot of multiplayer um, is like, you know, is because of, of these issues. Um, but yeah, the, like the single player, it has a really fun and gripping story. There's some very, fun action sequences um, so far. This game does rely on stealth. Um, it does take one of the best elements of what made the first um, Modern Warfare a remake a great, which was when, at the beginning of the game, when you're going through houses and you're checking, uh, you're checking each room, or apartments more, uh, where you're going yeah, through the apartment and you're checking each room. And like there'll be someone like behind the door. Sometimes they'll have a hostage, sometimes they won't. And just like, I love that level of stealth that the game did. I think it created a lot of suspense and a lot of tension to what's exactly on the other side of the door. Um, and this game also does uh, create quite a few threats. There's a cutscene where a character is in a burning room. This is a cutscene where um, he's in a burning, he's in a burning room and He's, he's like, he's suffocating. And when he enters this room prior to him, um, like burning, I won't spoil, I won't spoil anything about the game um, or, the, or the campaign. I want to leave the experience like op open to everybody. I want everybody to experience this because there's a lot in this game that I did not expect. So it does have a lot of twists and turns uh, that you that you don't expect, which I really appreciate that, especially for a Call of Duty game. I really like that. But there's one cutscene where yeah, you walk into a room, and like and yeah, you see a, like a baddie in front of you. So you, you know you think that this is your standard, typical you know, you know classic. You know, walk into a room, see a baddie, shoot him. But there were actually yeah, two other baddies hiding, and just it makes something as simple as as a bad guy hiding behind the door. A threatening situation where whenever you're going into another room you're always checking behind the door and so I really like I really like that idea I really like how that how this game set that up 
And so yeah, I think yeah, I think there is a lot to enjoy in this game. I'm excited to see where the single player uh, campaign goes and what other twists and turns. Um, when you're underwater, I, I do want to mention this. When you're underwater, it looks amazing, um, as well, especially if you're playing on a 4K television. Um, when you're underwater, it looks amazing. All of like all of the water design and the sound, it is immaculate in this game. Um, and also, yeah, the, the sound design, while it's not the best COD has ever sounded, it still sounds um, really good. Um, and it really it really immerses you um, in, into that game. Um, I don't like the minimap. I don't know what to call it. Uh, I don't like the minimap that this campaign has where you're... Uh, uh, this is something I really did not like in the remake um, and I still don't like in this one. Um, is where it's I don't even know what it was it's it's like a Halo Wars type you know type scenario where you have to where you're guiding your team uh, to um, to uh, to this certain location I couldn't think of the word there for a second um, yeah to this certain location and you have to drop you have to drop bombs and you have to shoot bad guys and you have to secure the area um if if you guys have played the game you know exactly what i'm talking about i hated playing that while it's not as bad as modern warfare's version of it i still i still just did not find that fun i i don't find that's you know that's not called you to me but i can see why a lot of people would enjoy doing it it does require a certain amount of skill which I do like, especially in a game like Call of Duty, because since it's so reliant on the first person shooter perspective, I do like how they change it up, but that's just not for me personally. So yeah, anyways, yeah, they're just my initial thoughts on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Have you played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2? What do you think 